Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing a film review for the film Rainbow's End. You can find the film on Lesflix, which is a streaming platform for lesbian, bisexual and queer movies. I will leave their links for both their website and their YouTube channel in the description down below if you want to go and check them out. Their recent release, Rainbow's End, it's available on their streaming platform. It's set in the 1990s in a small town in the US. We meet a happy and loving couple during one of the most difficult times of their lives. Our two main characters are Hannah Driver, played by Janelle Snow. She's a driven woman who is currently running for mayor. And her partner, Jules, played by Amanda Powell, who owns and runs her own cafe. Unable to have children themselves, the couple adopt a young boy, but they soon discover that Bo has an extra Y chromosome, a condition that's sometimes referred to as Jacob syndrome. At this point, we come up against some erroneous misperceptions of the 90s. Jacob syndrome, particularly boys, were considered to be prone to violence. We explore the story of what can happen when a child is labelled and then often lives up to that label even if it's incorrect or misunderstood. The rising pressures of their son's behaviour places a lot of pressure upon Hannah and George's relationship, as well as further difficulties stemming from Bo's school life and Hannah's political career. Both women have their own emotional issues stemming from their own upbringings, while Jules is gentle and compassionate and more open in her caring and affection regarding Bo's difficulties. Hannah is a little more aloof and not as vocal about her feelings, although she is no less fierce in her love for her son. Snow and Powell have a wonderful chemistry between them, and I found their interactions very believable and touching. You could see how these two different personalities would be drawn to each other. The film, whilst a serious subject, has artfully injected humour into it with some witty one-liners, and has a wonderful supporting cast, most notably Sean Young, who provides a lot of the humour and the comic relief, and Ed Asner, who portrays Hannah's father, and the reason for her more detached approach to expressing love. Personally, I found Ed Asner's scenes a little bit redundant, as the conversation at dinner between Hannah and Jaws about Hannah's upbringing was far more enlightening in regards to Hannah's behaviour than the scene with her father was, um, and explained a lot more clearly as to where she got her slightly aloof behaviour from. Sean Young was an absolute pleasure to watch, and I would definitely have loved to have seen even more of her. The rapport in general between all of the cast members I thought was excellent, and you could just imagine them all getting together after work for a drink off camera. It really came across that they just seemed to like one another. There were various time jumps throughout the film, but I thought it was done very well and served the storytelling to continue to show the problems that progressed throughout Bo's upbringing and the problems that he came up against as he got older, for instance, in school. It didn't leave me feeling disjointed, which is something that can often happen, I find, with films with a time jump in, but they had done it very well, so I was very impressed with that. One of the most interesting aspects of the film for me was the fact that you never actually see Bo, and yet his presence is always felt. It might just be the scene of his trainers in the hallway, or a conversation through a closed door, but it's done to great effect and I was very impressed with that. The ending was very original, totally unexpected, and gave the story a very satisfying conclusion. Be warned though, many hankies were needed during the watching of this film, so have your box of tissues handy. All in all, I can highly recommend the film. I thought it was thought-provoking, touching, and if it can reduce me to tears, then they definitely did something right. Again, if you're interested in watching the film, links will be in the description. Thank you everyone for listening, take care, and if you watch the film, let me know what you think. I personally, I definitely enjoyed it and definitely think it's worth a watch, so go check it out. Thanks.